What is going on guys? Birdie Boy's back here. I'm doing a what's in the bag today. So this should be very exciting going through. We get to see the brand new cart, been used once. Uh, so that's exciting. So I did get the large with the seat. So the seat flips up. Um, I have the, the Commander Dynamic Disc Bag. I just really like their bags. So I decided to keep them. Um, but right now, we're going to start with, of course, what everybody starts with, which is the putters. Uh, currently, I putt with uh, studs, which is probably going to be changing soon because the Nate Sexton Firefly just came out. So be looking on the channel for that. We're going to be having um, a disc review, and we're going to have some field tests, and we'll record all that with flight patterns and all that stuff. So that's super exciting. So I have two studs, both orange. Um... And then this disc I love, it's my Pro Pig. Um, the Pro Pig, well, it's a Pro Pig. I mean, you wanna go pro, you throw a pig. <laughs> so I use this for forehand upshots mainly, even if it's straight. Um, I love throwing this thing forehand for upshots. Uh, I don't put it past the basket too often, which is what I had a problem with throwing a Rock 3. So I'll use this for also big hyzers that I'm trying to float back. Um, so I do love this disc. Uh, we're gonna get into mid-range. So let's start with my stable mid-ranges. So I have a DX Rock 3, which I'm absolutely loving. Um, this is pretty new to my bag. Um, I could throw this and it just, it goes so far uh, for being a Rock 3. Um, so I'm really loving this disc. Uh, and then I have two Champion Rock 3s, um, which you've probably seen if you watch my first bag video. I've had these in here. These are probably the discs that are, have been in my bag the longest, except for my Daedalus's. So I'm really loving these. I throw them for basically any, any shot that um, I just need to get up the fairway and rely on a consistent fade to the left, like if there's OB on the right. Um, probably not going to be both of them in the bag much longer. I have the Gatekeeper. Um, this is from the Trilogy Challenge. It's a west side disc. Um, I'm pretty sure it's stable. It throws stable for me. Uh, I also throw quite a bit of hyzer, so it, everything's almost stable for me. So we will see how this goes. Um, this is exciting to throw this, try to throw a different brand. Um, We'll see how it goes again. Yeah, yeah I, I haven't thrown this very much. I've been throwing the Rock 3. Um, the only really understable mid-range I have, which I can throw this thing on hyzer and it flies so straight and so far and just gets a little bit of fade back is the truth. Um, I'm loving this disc, it's a dynamic disc. Sorry, I have a, I have a few dynamic discs. Um, now let's get into my overstable drivers. I don't really have fairway drivers and drivers. I, they just kind of all go together. I have stable and then I have an understable. I have this Champion Ape. Um, this is very new. I had it when I first started. It was too stable for me because I threw everything on hyzer, so I'm really working on throwing flat. So we'll see how this goes. I really had only understable in my bag, I realized, so I'm trying to incorporate some stable. Um, I had this escape. Um, this is brand new to me today. Um, it is a stable fairway driver, so we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm excited to see how this flies. Pro Destroyer. This disc has seen some stuff. <laughs> I've lost it multiple times and it somehow always comes back to me, so thank you for whoever finds my discs everywhere and returns them. Um, this is just very overstable. And even if, if you do put a little bit of hyzer, it'll flip up, but it rides super nice and really far for a stable disc. Thunderbird, still something that I'm really trying to work on, getting some distance with the Thunderbird. I, I've seen, you know, like James Conrad, they can really, you know, whip it and get that massive distance with it. So I'm just kind of working on it. This is a champion Firebird. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and then I have a DX T-Bird, which we found with no name on it, so I went ahead and kept it. 
So I found this last week and I needed more staple stuff in my bag. So I have not thrown this yet, so we'll see how that flies. But I do throw this Star T-Bird, which I absolutely love. Basically for any huge hyzer shot that we have, I throw this disc. Basically anything I want to really fade left. A lot I throw. Now we're to understable, which we'll do in a section. So currently right now, I am down to two Daedaluses. Um, this disc, I actually stopped throwing for a very long time and then I threw it again and I realized that I can hyzer flip this disc really well, as well as forehand flex this disc really well. So I'm really enjoying these again. So getting them back out and actually pulling them out of the bag during a round is getting more frequent. So I really recommend a champion, champion Daedalus, even for beginners, because a lot of beginners tend to do this a lot on their throws and it'll flip up and get some distance. I have a pro wraith. Um, I started off with a wraith and uh, I could throw it really far. That was actually my first driver was a wraith. Um, so I've been just kind of, I kept kind of kept this in the bag. Uh, I just traded for it last week. You almost hit the bank. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. But I'm really excited. Um, Aaron can also throw it on a, um, forehand roller. So I'm going to try to learn that with this disc. Star Leopard 3. Um, so this is kind of like just an upgrade from my truth. My truth, if I really whip it, um, really stays straight and doesn't finish either way, if I throw in a little bit of hyzer. So this Star Leopard 3 is amazing for just a little bit longer of a shot, but trying to keep that stability and make sure it doesn't flip over. And then these are my, um, probably my max distance drivers. Um, I have two Star Valkyries, um, I'm loving them. I can throw them almost on full hyzer at this point and rely on them to flip flat right to the right and fade back left to get just basically max distance for me. Uh, I've thrown a disc 400 feet using a Valkyrie, so trying to get more consistent with the distance, but if it comes to it, I throw a Valkyrie for anything I'm trying to just get down the field. And then I have some, just these last three, just some stuff to kind of fill in the bag. Um, I have a Star Light Roadrunner, very flippy. Um, it's got negative four turn, which I think is the lowest disc I have in the bag. I'm really gonna try in the next month or two, trying to learn how to throw a backhand roller with this one. So that's in the bag for the rollers. Um, and then I have two dynamic disc, um, um, I have a fairway driver and a distance driver. I have the, well, another escape, actually, fairway driver. Um, I've thrown this. It's actually pretty stable. So that's exciting to throw. I guess that's kind of in the wrong spot. But um, I have this understable freedom, which is speed 14, which is super high speed. So I don't think I can throw this. Um, so it actually might be going to Daniel because he throws a katana, which is pretty high speed. So this is very understable. So I, d I haven't thrown this. So other than that, I have one mini, a towel, phone charger. I have a baseball and a uh, chalk sack. Other than that, that's all I have. If you guys have any questions about any of the discs I've spoken of, Make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you do like and subscribe. Only 70, 76% of our viewers are not subscribed, so we're trying to lower that. Give me the real statistic. I think it's 67. 67% of you guys aren't subscribed, and we want to change that. Make sure you leave improvements or comments down below. We greatly appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm very excited to get back out on the field and throw a lot more. Other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day, and Birdie Boys out.